Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Mirrored Souls. This really cool puzzle game was developed by The Brick Studios, published by Short and & Sweet and is available to you for usually £12.49 $14.99 but does go on sale frequently. As of this recording it was down to £1.24 $1.49 so always be checking yar. Uh, why am I pirate now? <laughs> anyway, we would usually be playing as Ravi and Darun, two alien fox anime style pornographic looking things, as we'd go from level to level, basically, well, mirroring each other's movements to get to the next one. Um, but there's a level skip in this game, and I'm sorry to the devs, but this guide will be utilizing that to get the completion done in around 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes or so. Now there are still a few miscellaneous achievements that we need to grab on specific levels, so what we'll do is skip levels until we get to that level we need for that said achievement. Simples. Uh, like I said, we can get this done in around 10 to maybe 20 minutes or so, so with that being said then, let's do it! Now there are only really three buttons that you need to uh, remember. It's uh, We need to use the B button in order to drop down the right trigger to hold on to something and then A to jump. Okay, so first what we'll do is go to options, go across ones to allow level skip or allow love skip. Uh, go up to yes, of course, press B and then uh, continue and then press B to skip a couple of the cutscenes. Well, the only cutscene. So again, what I'm gonna do, I've edited out the parts where we're just gonna skip the levels for the most part. So you press the pause button, you go down to skip level and then we just need to get to specific ones. Now what you'll notice is there's level 1A, level 1B, plus there's level 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, and all that stuff. So the first level we need to get to then is going to be level 115. So here we are at level 114, DIY. No, I don't do it myself, I'll just pay somebody else to do it. How do you care if I get those oranges up the stairs? Anyway, go ahead, this is level 115, so what we'll need to do then is uh, press the right trigger, of course, to grab onto things. Drag it over to the right slightly, we basically have to put this block tower on top of the tower from above onto the bottom one. So, drag it to the left ever so slightly, jump over, drop down, press right trigger and just pop it down. Once the tower is complete, the Tower of Hanoi will be Spanoi, or done for short. And then we can just continue on skipping the levels then until we get to just the end of chapter one. Uh, so yeah, keep skipping levels until we get to the end of chapter one, which is going to be right here. Discovery achievement will unlock for completing said first chapter. Right. Next up, once we've done this, we are now going to need to get to level 2.4, which is called John's Drops. It's going to be this one right here. Now, this may be a little bit finicky. But what we need to do is get the left guy, I'm just going to call him left guy and right gal. So left guy, we need to get just on the branch and we need to get right gal on the floor. So it may be a little bit finicky. Um, you can actually jump up and then sort of edge down ever so slightly if you want to do that. But what we need to do with right gal, press the X on the lever, then jump so both characters are the same side and then get them both going. So we needed to complete that with just the one um, lever switch. So, again, apologies, these do go by quite quickly, and I do apologize if my uh, explanations aren't really the best sometimes, but next we'll go to level 2.6 here. Watch your head. Yeah, my homie got watch your head. Uh, what we need to do is basically complete this level without jumping. So, as bottom gal, you we need to go to the right slightly, drag in that, and then run to the left as top guy. So, you just basically uh, drag the box... Run to the left, drag the box, run to the left, and then keep going until we get all the way to the right. So, um, past the point of death of no return, which of course the point death of no return will be the the, the uh, laser beam, whatever the hell that is. But anyway, once that's done, walk away all the way over to the right, and then that'll be what your head and grounded completed. Right, now we can just go ahead and keep skipping levels then until we finish chapter two. Uh, so there are three, I believe, miscellaneous achievements that we're going to be grabbing on chapter three. Um, which, one of them you have to complete in ten seconds. Uh, it can be, again, 
they're not so difficult. It's literally just a case of you just gotta you're just gonna have to basically just reset the level a couple of times. That's all. You know, we've been here before, we've done it plenty of times. So we need to get to level 3.1. Now what we have to do is run across once. So top guy is in the platform or in the portal. And then what you need to do is just jump. So you need to jump as bottom gal onto the plat moving platform and then jump down into the portal in order to complete it. Um, and then what you can do as well with any of these moving platforms, if you just stand underneath one of them, you will get the corner case achievement as well for basically, well, basically getting crushed by a platform. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be the next one that we need to get to, level 3.10. This is the one where we need to complete in 10 seconds, as well as, um, again, I accidentally got the achievement there, the corner case. That was for, uh, basically, yes, preventing a moving platform from reaching its destination, i.e. get crushed by it. But what you need to do, to complete this level in 10 seconds, what you'll need to do is jump over to the left... In the portal, drop down with the B button, and then jump up with right gal onto the platform, and then do that. Now, so if you go too far to the left with left guy, right gal will basically drop down. So you have to get left guy just in the portal right there. Right, so onto the next level, after level 3F ponder. What we need to do, when the moving platform is over to the right, jump up, hit the X button, so the moving box is down. Press the B button now, so that right gal will be on top of the moving boxed platform. When we get over to the right, we are going to jump up again. And then when we get over to the left-hand side with right gal, jump up again in order to complete the level and get that achievement as well. Um, and then we can just go ahead now and get to level 3.20. Uh, that was level 3.16, sorry, I forgot to mention that. But now we need to get to level 3.23, which is contact. <laughs> so with this one, as top guy, jump up onto the moving platform. And then jump over to the left in order to get the bottom gal a uh, bit of space there. Jump back onto the moving platform. And you'll need to grab the first box onto the moving platform. And then we need to drop it onto the button just down there. Just about managed to do that one. Then grab the other box. Again, she should be safe now, so she's all good. But then what we need to do is grab, uh, put this box onto the moving platform. Sorry, it's the platform... It looks very funny down below. I, I can't tell you what it looks like. And then with this, drag it down, put it in the gap, press the X button there, and that will send the laser beam down, and the contact achievement will unlock. And then simply skip level until we reach the end, and that is job done. And that should be 11 out of 11 achievements. So nice, uh, pretty much nice and easy. It's, a, it's generally a very good game to play anyway, but... You know, there's two ways to play it. I know Achievement Squad have a very good video if you wanted to do it the legit way. Um, but this is the cheating way because anybody got time for legit? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope the game helped. Uh, I hope the guide helped that the game you enjoyed. Yes. A uh, big thank you to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Thank you so, so much. Check out my true crime gaming podcast, Gaming's Darker Side, if you so wish. And with that, I shall see you in the next one. Big love, love nuts.